ago. August 12th is really going to be a very historic day for the state of Iowa. The first ever Iowa Major League Baseball game ever played in our state is going to be the Yankees and the White Sox out there at the new the new Field of Dreams. We're going to be talking about that. And uh, we did receive special permission from Major League Baseball to go out there just recently to take a look at the stadium as construction is underway. We'll take you out there right now. If you build it, he will come. He did, and so did thousands and thousands of others over the past 32 years. But no one could have predicted that Dyersville's most famous cornfield in the world would lead to this. This just takes that legacy and grows it even more. Says Keith Ray, the executive director of Travel Dubuque, which has been working closely with Dyersville and Major League Baseball to make the Field of Dreams even more popular. How iconic is this to be out in the most famous cornfield in the world and Major League Baseball, them coming in and building this diamond. So what you'll see is, you know, the field itself is permanent, the diamond itself. But then they come in and they build every, all the rest of the infrastructure that they need. And it's amazing. You know, when they get done, it's absolutely breathtaking. And we can't wait till August 12th. The Yankees and the White Sox, just a couple of hundred yards west of the famous 1989 Field of Dreams movie set. Is this heaven? It's Iowa. Iowa? Major League Baseball has told us this is one of the most popular events they've ever done. Mm. And so people are coming from all over the country, all over the world to be here to experience this. So just from that alone, just from that marketing, that brand that we can put on this for the state of Iowa, uh, Ron, I can't put a price tag on it. It's priceless. Here's an artist rendition of what the 8,000 seat temporary stadium is going to look like in August. But here's what it looks like right now from the KWWO drone. It's complete with Moscow lighting for the twilight game, but seating and infrastructure will not be installed until sometime in July. You know, just all those different entities working together to make this the most beautiful thing that, you know, people will see. And I can't wait for that night, August 12th. The big question is, everybody wants to know, Rick, how can I get a ticket? That, that's the main thing. And uh, Rick, you'll be lucky enough to have the privilege of getting a media pass. <laughs> I'll apply for a senior citizen pass, and we'll see how that goes. But, but the fact is, it's going to be a very, very tough ticket to get, right? It certainly I mean, is. People from all over the world want these tickets, yeah. Ron. Major League Baseball has not said when the tickets will go on sale, but get checking that MLB website. You might be lucky enough to grab one when they go on sale. If you can't get a ticket though, come on over to Dyersville because they're going to have a spectacular two-day festival called Beyond the Game and we're going to talk more about that coming up right here tonight at 6 o'clock because that's going to be really something in its own right in Dyersville right not too far from the Field of Dreams only about four miles away.